holy moly that is a dark brimstone so this is the dark world and when you walk into this black brimstone you activate giga mode uh oh i'm taking damage oh my lord oh no oh it's getting real dark is this is this supposed to happen i imagine right this is actually a sick sequence what okay so you can see on the top left not only do we have hard mode on we basically have the Giga Nightmare mode on. We've exchanged our D6 for an Eternal D6. And enemies will have this weird glow around them. They're going to be harder. They'll have more health, etc. All the good stuff. So when you walk into that portal black brimstone, you activate Nightmare Giga Spooky mode, right? I've actually been wanting to play this for a bit. Uh, I believe the person who made this actually uh, put it in the content suggestions channel for the Discord. So I've been having it on my mind for a while. I want to see how hard this thing can get. It's definitely obviously already noticeable. Uh, enemies that take three hits are now taking four. And maybe there's like new enemy patterns and such. Obviously my active item got shot. Luckily my stats are the same too though. Do flies take three hits? No, they still take two. That's good. I like that. So yeah, I kind of wanted to challenge myself today. And this seems like the perfect opportunity. What's in this curse room? Bada boom. Uh, just some pills. Hey, tears up. That's going to be beautiful for us. Health up is good to know as well. Obviously, the dark world is a reference to Super Meat Boy, where uh, in that game there is the normal light world, and then the dark world variant of every single level, making everything harder. What's in this treasure room? Bum friend. Absolutely going to roll you. That's really good. Look, even the black flies are taking two hits. That's insane, actually. Okay, well... Uh, I, it looks like Monstro also has the black mist around him, so he's gonna be a bit harder. Could be just a little bit of a health buff, but we'll see. There you go. Okay, he was definitely taking a lot more tears than I'm used to. It's not like I have the amount of tears Monstro takes that base damage memorized, but it definitely felt like more. Not even gonna mention how good Pentagram is showing up is, but you know what? Give me Dead Cat instead. What? I mean, we have to take that. That's just beautiful. Thank you. Let's go Devil Rooms then. Maybe it's a little bit nerve-wracking in order for us to go downpour when we're trying out a new difficulty, but I think we're good, right? I mean, our stats have been buffed to no end for no reason. Just super lucky. I like that I can see the leeches. This is actually seems like it's, it's easier than normal. When I fight Blub, typically I actually get hit by the leeches really often just because I skill issue and I can't see them. But that smoke actually makes it really easy to see them. There's like no way I can get that coin, right? Only an absolute gamer god can get it. Oh yeah! Uh, let's be real, that guy is not dying for a while. I'm gonna focus on killing the leeches. <laughs> there you go. Ah, you go. Uh, let me go to the shop. We have enough money if I blow up the donation machine. Oh, also, cool fact, look at that. All shop items take way more coinage. 20 cents instead of 15. Do we really want a 20 cent blanket? Nah, I think I'll just roll it. It's okay. Let it delete it. It could be good, but eh, I don't care too much. Check it. Treasure room into the intruder, which is just a good item. Uh, I assume with a harder difficulty, which I don't know anything about. I'm not going to make too many risky plays, right? reason I can make risky plays in base Isaac or whether or not it's modded, right? Is just because I'm used to the game, but I don't know what this could hold. I blub. See, this is the exact scenario I was going to say about, right? Like these leeches, typically like this guy above me, I wouldn't see him because I would hyper focus on blub. But since it's such a large dark mist, I uh, actually think this is a bit of a buff for this fight. They definitely take a lot of hits though. I think these leeches are taking three hits per while I have pentagram damage up. That's nasty. Cool, we at least had a really good fight here and we landed the devil. Let's take, um, you know what? Let's leave that binky alone. What's in here? Oh yeah, I definitely want both of these, I think. Well, maybe not. Actually, I'd probably take both. So here's here's my plan, right? Let's do something like this walk out will die. Just kidding, we won't, dead cat moment. And then we'll do this and then we'll die for real this time. Cool, and then we can take binky. That way we have a soul heart for the next floor. Looks like we're locked in devils today. Curse of the blind kind of makes me want to go to planetariums, but no! But not so much, right? Because I do want to just get as many items as possible. Uh, because it was already becoming apparent that this is a lot harder. Even just with the enemy health buff, right? I'm expecting enemies to die a lot faster than I'm used to. Let's go right? Oh, uh, well, I would say 120 volt is the better choice. But a speed up is actually not bad. We do have a free curse room if we walk in here. A black heart to help us keep going. Are these spiders taking three hits? Excuse me? I was not prepared for that. I almost died. <laughs> what? Why is there a giga bomb here? Don't do that to me. The giga bomb fly play is not all right. You are supposed to be at the ascent. Okay, so new uh, mechanic learned, I guess. Either one, bomb flies can be turned into their giga variant. 
Or, uh, maybe enemies can sometimes just have their Ascent variant available in Dark Mode. Dark Mode, as if I'm playing like Google right now. <laughs> Ow. Well, it's looking tough, but we managed to clear this out pretty well. I'm a little afraid of the mirror dimension, but we do have Dead Cat, right? I mean, that's one of the best survival items in the game. I, I think I can handle a little bit of mirror dimension gaming. Let me clear out Call of Stomia real quick. Goodbye, dum-dum. Hello. Uh, all right, I'm blind. Hey, that's really good. Cool. We got a couple chests. We got a black lipstick in that one. And uh, I, I'm not even going to be able to open this one. Oh, I got a roll. Right? I have to roll. Ah, uh, Dude, imagine the play though. Like, come on. I roll, it rolls into the secret room pool. It's like death certificate. Like, it's poetic if it managed to happen. I can open this for free. I just get a bomb back, that's okay. It looks like the uh, black clouds that come from the dark world dimension actually turn into white clouds when you're uh, reversed. Which, hey, I mean, that makes sense. That's a really cool detail. I love little details like that, dude. It's so fun. Gimme, gimme, Samson's ball of chains. I will explode to a mushroom and it will be hilarious. You're done for. Let's grab this item and I'm thinking we don't go to mine slash ash pit. How about we have some fun rather on the normal floors and see what the dark world version of those guys looks like. Library? Huh. Hello. Bookworm progress potentially? I mean, I could probably just land myself a bookworm right while I have a uh, bit of rerolls going on here. Boom. There you go. That's all we needed, really. I'm not going to use it because I don't want to get a, an orbital. I think an orbital is really good, but I would like just to get to other items. Not the craziest run so far, but I would definitely say above average. And that is a good thing in my opinion. You know, we don't have the most nuts items ever, but we do have, you know, some good stats, pentagram and such, rosary, some tears ups. And that's good because we're able to really gauge how uh, difficult this uh, game mode is, I guess, right? A new, completely new game mode in comparison to the rest of the game. More conjoined progress. I did want to just kind of lock in conjoin. That's why I took Hellas Baby, right? So there's no way I'm backing out of that now. Soul hearts are nice and we're definitely moving along. Chubb, I'm definitely using Lemon Party here. That way we can speed up the fight just a smidge. Explode! I get another devil because I'm just that lucky. Now the tears up. So it's at this point in the run where I get overpowered. What is that? What is that? Become the? Guy, should I become the? Is this the point in the run where it gets crazy? Okay. I'm, I'm become the... Oh my lord, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Why? Why did a Giga Nuke just come right at me? Not okay. That is not good. That is hella foreboding for the future. Give me those jumper cables. Why did that reroll? Now I can't tell if it's the Dark World, like, uh, nightmare mode that's doing that, or if it's the become the. Oh, it's definitely the become the. You know, every single time I pick up a coin, I've always wanted to reroll on something. Well, good, good to know. Thank you. Hill moment, range down. A little rough, not the worst in the world. I'm just gonna try and drain this pool of uh, items. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. I didn't. I. I. I didn't want my eternal D6 anyway. I wanted to put it down and turn it into freezer baby, and then a different baby. This is actually kind of good, right? Oh, this is actually kind of good, right? Oh, I'm trying to get my sentence off. <laughs> this is actually kind of good, right? Because I have, I honestly, I don't know what's going on. Why is a red room opening? I don't know what's over here. Jesus, criminy Christ. Yera. Now, what I was trying to say is this could be actually kind of good because I guess I just have a build that rerolls items uh, whenever I pick something up, right? So, since I have the ability to just spawn things, I could technically get infinite rerolls in a way. Boom, let's dupe it. That's actually really good. I do need that black part. Roll. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Give me this. Thank you. It's hard mode on top of hard mode on top of TM Trainer Giga mode. Oh, hi. I, I should take Dry Baby. Why are you floating there? Goodbye. Dry Baby's too good not to take, right? I'll fight the Mask of Infamy here. It's very noticeable, by the way, that we're still on dark mode because these enemies are really tanky. Hello. Dark Bomb is probably just something I should take, but I have access to free rerolls. Do I? That's I can't take that. Never mind. I guess I don't. Oh, also, whenever I just take an item, it's rerolled, I guess. I really don't even know how much HP I have, but I know it is not looking good. We really are in, like, giga hard mode. What's in here? Oh! Oh, come on. You want me to do the do Oh, I did not want to do that. <laughs> I was going to try and coerce myself into picking it up. Instead, I get two pentagrams today. Hello. Mystery gift. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. If I can land a mystery gift, that would be cool. If I can land multiple items in that room, I could even reroll multiple times, right? Just get a bunch of pickups on the ground by blowing up the machines. This is a huge necropolis, by the way. What is this? Let's farm some money with this chariot car we got from Book of Sin. Ow, don't throw. Maybe I can land a mystery gift this time? Oh, there you go. Pick up the coins before it spawns. Uh, and then I get rid of my Book of Sin because I completely forgot this weird TM Trainer mechanic. Okay. Well, you know what? That's actually not a bad pickup. We can take Chad. It will synergize with Dark Bomb. That way I have uh, more HP than anything. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, like, let's be real here. I want to win more than anything. So having regeneratable HP, I am more than grateful. Oh my lord, get away. We still have this secret room we're trying to find. There you go. I'm going to die if this keeps up. Hopefully this is a god item. Ah, oh, it really is actually. Thank you. I could have rerolled it by blowing up keepers, maybe getting some nickels, but uh, raw liver in this situation is just actually needed. A very good pickup for us. Oh, oh my. I can see the future and it looks good. All right, now we'll definitely go. Oh my god. It does seem like the hitbox is pretty forgiving, right? I can be right on top of it and it seems like I'm able to move out the way. As long as I'm not really touching it, I don't think it can explode on contact. But the explosion itself is so huge <laughs> that it's a little bit scary. Also, when multiple spawn like that, I kind of shit. I kind of explode. You guys remember that old meme? That's not like really old meme where it was like, when you'll see it, you'll shit bricks or something. <laughs> I was so dumb. Unidentified pill, gimme gimme. Oh wow, uh, that's right, I have echo chamber. I am losing HP rather than gaining slowly over time and that is very concerning. Definitely seems like yellow spiders are the worst. I, I believe I've definitely deduced that it happens whenever I kill an enemy. So having multiple enemies die very fast in succession is no bueno. Battery for 20 cents. I don't even have an active. I think I'll just take the key actually. It's on sale. Which refreshed that, which if I can get the money, I'll take. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explode. I just can't do this anymore. My brain can't handle it. Oh yeah. Is there a dead onion there? That's sick. Why'd you do that for me? I'm not gonna complain, but yoink. If we don't get hit here, which won't happen because I'm definitely gonna spawn a nuke, I could potentially get a deal, but I'm not looking forward to it. What I'm looking forward to is trying not to die. Ow, that sucks. Oh, I'm dead to mom? That's a new one. Hold on. Goodbye, mom. You're done for. Uh, we get black hearts and soul hearts all alike. I re- Whoa! Take this before anything else happens. <laughs> so a lot of things just happened, which makes me really ponder here. First of all, I'm going to take all of these. So I spawn a bunch of red hearts just because of human to playing off uh, of echo chamber, right? So here's my theory, right? I assumed that every time I did some kind of weird action, like pick up something, whether it be an item or a pickup, I re-rolled. Now that was vaguely correct. However, using my giga extensive Isaac knowledge, I also observed the fact that one of those items turned into the Polaroid and the other one turned into Breath of Life. The reason that's interesting is because Breath of Life is right next to the Polaroid, so I don't think I'm just re-rolling. I think I'm specifically spinning down, which could be abused, right? I mean, I could maybe play this blood bank, get a blood bag, and if I am spinning down, or maybe I'm spinning up. I could maybe get a brimstone? I don't know, that sounds like a, a bold claim. Oh my god. It might be needed though with how this run's going. Dark world difficulty and all. I'm just gonna rely on Dark Bum giving me uh, black hearts. I just think this could be the more safe play. Again, like I said, I don't want to take too many risks like, oh haha, I'm gonna play the blood bank and get brimstone. Because that's not really safe and I do want to win. We're all good, right Skolex? Oh, you just want to spawn seven bombs. Uh, experimental? I don't know. Might be the incorrect play. Uh, it was okay. I got a damage up and health up. Three red chests. The most I could hope for is maybe uh, some soul hearts. Hey, cool. All right. We are definitely doing a lot better. There you go. There's a, oh! There's a judgment. Why is there a judgment? Okay, here's what we'll do. Use justice right now, just so I have it locked in. And I take the judgment with me all the way to the chest. I don't exactly have the keys for this, but it will be cool. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> this boss spawns a lot of enemies, so I'm ex fully expecting nukes. I should not be on the right side of the map, if anything, I should be over here. So when nukes inevitably do spawn, which I guarantee you they will, uh, just kidding, I'm incorrect. 
Odd syringes has appeared in the basement. Oh, look at that. I got the dark world unlock. Cool. It lives moment concluded and in here, Judas's shadow, which could just straight up be kind of good to be honest with you. How about we take you? Oh, it rerolled. And then I'll just take you. We are stacking up keys, which is good, and health, actually. We haven't been hit too much. Oh! There was no dodging that one, let's be real here. Keys are important. Oh my god, PJs, you're too kind. Uh, because we are going to need as many as possible. We're gonna have like three uses of reverse justice effectively on the next floor, right? So we most likely won't be able to open every single chest, but as many as we can is important. You guys know those guys are called bishops? I always called them priests. Alright, Isaac should be pretty simple, right? I actually kind of want to see how much damage the nuke does against a final boss like Isaac. Maybe he can spawn angels and they spawn a nuke and it, it hits him. I'm not going to throw the entire game for it. Ah, it's just not going to happen. That's okay. I'll just get the kill. Hello and goodbye. Kaleidoscope. Oh, I wish I saw what that subtext said. But that's cool. Kaleidoscope. We are getting unlocks just like at any normal character, right? We beat Isaac. Oh, hey. You get the Isaac unlock. Which means there's probably dark room unlocks as well. Cool. Okay. This is the big reveal, right? We go boom. We spawn some extra chests. We have a reverse thingy. Restock gaming. Oh! Okay, we take this because otherwise everything else is going to reroll, right? Boom. Pencil. Pencil worth? Pencil doesn't work with Tech X, does it? And even if it does, ah, it's not the craziest thing. Halo, Swarm could give me the win, but eh. Ghost Baby, all of this stuff. And D100. How about I go for some rolls? Oh, that's beautiful. Now, all of these are gonna roll because, <laughs> well, you know, for some reason, Become the is the best thing ever. Definitely don't want- Oh! Prop is good with Tech X, right? It, it, it works. It's actually kind of- it's a- uh, I kind of like this build more than anything. Nah, we're taking knife. Tarot cloth? Um, <laughs> it's getting a little bit nuts for me. I'll relax for a bit. Oh, final rerolls. Uh, we get Dumperton. No, but if we manage to find a pill or a card, right, we'll be able to get another roll. This turned out to be so nuts. Can't yeah, believe we unironically managed to rig it, by the way. <laughs> Like at the very end for no reason. Yeah, you know, here's the best items. I like the concept. I know this is like entirely TM Trainer, right? But I've just never seen it before. I like the concept of uh, picking up an item and or like a pickup, like a coin or a key and the items reroll in the room. Because I'm actually having a lot of fun trying to min-max it. <laughs> Rainbow Worm, I'll take you. What you doing? Oh my god. Destruction on Super Envy. Oh, backstabber. I could reroll it, but let's just take it for now. I have an emperor card back there, which lets me use judgment, but I don't want to use it because to be honest with you, it's an emperor and I don't want to fight blue baby just yet. I'm trying to find a different card right now. Oh, that's a secret room item. Okay, here, this is a perfect opportunity. Spawn sense. Nice. I reroll. Oh my god. Hey guys, remember when I said it's specifically spinning down? Guess what? Yeah! I can't believe I just did that. Wow, that was that was huge, dude. What kind of play? What's going on with my knives? Oh, there you go. There's a pill. Let's take this pill and we should spawn more restocks and more chests in the starting room. Spawn it down here. We are going to TP just because I guess it's Attila pills, but we'll just come back. It's okay. Uh, do it again just so we spawn even more. It seems like such a high chance for uh, red rooms to show up too with whatever the hell I'm working with. It's feeling like a crystal key except the crystal key has a 50% chance to work because this thing is always procking. It's crazy. Well, uh, oh, here you go. Perfect. Speed up. We get one more. Now, I believe that should be our last restock machine, right? Because we spawned four total or I guess three total. No, we spawned four. We spawned four total. So this will be our last one. So let's open everything else that we got. Got to remember when I take an item, everything else rerolls. So I have to be sure. There you go. Almond. Do I want almond milk? Yeah, sure. Why not? Everything else rerolls. Mystery gift? Um, hmm. <laughs> when I, uh, sure. Now when I take this, uh, there's going to be a weird interaction where I reroll everything again. Cool. Nothing interesting here. I can't believe I'm trying to min-max this TM trainer stuff. It's actually really fun. Blob it down. Could be good. It's the shovel. We do guarantee ourselves a crawl space here with literally, unironically, probably the worst crawl space ever. I've actually never seen that before. Uh, let me just check what was in this secret room again. I don't, I don't even remember. Hello? Oh, it's you. Hello. Hello, you. Goodbye, you. Okay, roll again. Let's see if we can land something good, right? I mean, we have a really high chance. There's a motorcycle outside! <laughs> Reroll. Cricket's body. Yeah, okay. Nothing else here. Cricket Fanny. <laughs> 
Uh, no, I have so many potential rerolls. That, that's just gonna be a waste if I do something like that. My reflection school though. Let's take this. Boom. Nothing else shows up. What? What? What was that? I didn't see. I mean, there were too many items on the screen. Where was I supposed to look? What showed up? I'll never. I will literally never know. I will actually never know what that is. Oh my god, Dad's key showed up randomly. Boom. What? Oh! Hi, Sci-Fly. How you doing? Doo doo. Libra? Libra would be good, right? Since I have uh, almond milk. Sure. Yeah, that is a fat damage up for me. Thank you very much. I'll take Pop. I don't know if it even works, to be honest with you. Pretty sure it doesn't, but I could get some synergies maybe if I find like C-section. This is a spawn. That is another Brimstone if I take this penny. What is going on in today's video? What? The, it, this is the most curated Isaac run I've ever had. It's the perfect amount of zaniness and strategy that I've always wanted. What is happening? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I just got a big uh, stats up. I don't really know why, but it's there. Thank you. Well, we don't even need to kill Blue Baby, right? Let's just go for the big kill on uh, Mega Satan. I got even more stats up? For what reason? For just existing? Oh, there's a shot speed up. I don't know what's going on. What a nuts run, dude. What happened here? Yeah, I beat your hard mode. I didn't just beat it. I didn't just beat the dark world. I demolished it. Entirely eviscerated. Do we potentially see maybe a dark world delirium in our future? Isaac's artery has appeared in the basement. And reveal? Ah? No, okay. Dude, Dark World was sick and what a nuts run. GG!